The FBI has uncovered some bribery involving Russian businesses that go directly to Vladimir Putin. According to the Hill article, before the Obama administration approved a controversial deal in 2010 giving Moscow control of a large swath of American uranium, the FBI had gathered substantial evidence that Russian nuclear industry officials were engaged in bribery, kickbacks, extortion, and money laundering designed to grow Vladimir Putin's atomic energy business inside the United States, according to government documents and interviews. Federal agents used a confidential U.S. witness working inside the Russian nuclear industry to gather extensive financial records, make secret recordings, and intercept emails as early as 2009 that showed Moscow had compromised an American uranium trucking firm with bribes and kickbacks in violation of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, FBI and court documents show. Now that we are seeing Russian collusion with the Obama administration, are we going to be seeing this featured on CNN back-to-back -back for the next year? I mean, this is a huge story showing that the Obama administration colluded with Russian officials that acted on behalf of Vladimir Putin in order to strengthen their businesses on American soil. They were also given 20% of our uranium reserves, which was part of the whole mess. The FBI has been investigating this for years, and just now this information comes out. You have to ask, where is all of that outrage we saw just a few months ago, which, oddly enough, just disappeared once people began debunking their evidence, the whole Trump-Russia, Trump-Russia, Trump-Russia. Where is the outrage? Remember these same people that were angry? You're not mad that Russia, a foreign government, tried to influence our election? Well, where are they now? I don't hear them even talking about this. This is a foreign government influencing policy, which is a step above that, in my opinion. Here is another bit from the article. The Russians were compromising American contractors in the nuclear industry with kickbacks and extortion threats, all of which raised legitimate national security concerns, and none of that evidence got aired before the Obama administration made those decisions, according to a person who worked on the case that spoke on the condition of anonymity in fear of retribution by U.S. or Russian officials. These people are being investigated by the FBI, and they have enough power and influence over our system and of our politics that FBI officials are afraid of standing by their work in fear of retaliation. Just look at what happened to the Panama Papers journalist who exposed the ultra-wealthy who were storing money in Panama in order to avoid paying taxes. Finally, here is one last part from the article. The whole piece is a bit long, so if you would like to read the full article, I have a link to it in the description. Former Representative Mike Rogers, Republican from Michigan, who chaired the House Intelligence Committee during the time the FBI probe was being conducted, told The Hill that he had never been told anything about the Russian nuclear corruption case, even though many fellow lawmakers had serious concerns about the Obama administration's approval of the Uranium One deal. Not providing information on a corruption scheme before the Russian uranium deal was approved by U.S. regulators and engage appropriate congressional committees has served to undermine U.S. national security interests by the very people charged with protecting them, he said. The Russian efforts to manipulate our American political enterprise is breathtaking. So, in conclusion, where is the outrage? Where is this story being aired on CNN, MSNBC, uh, ABC, it'll probably be on Fox, actually. At the very least, it'll be on Tucker Carlson tonight, I can almost guarantee that. One thing I have seen time and time again this past year are the people who are pointing fingers and making accusations. It later comes out, after more information becomes available, that that person who is pointing the finger is actually the more guilty one. In other words, who smelt it, dealt it. But let me know what you guys think of this article and of all of this. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you there. You all have a lovely afternoon.